Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I suppose is my home data center. I'm just going to be going over the basics here. So I'll start off with what's probably the most recognizable is the Dell PowerEdge 1950 server. It is a 1U server, and I've just got the stock fans in, so this is pretty loud. Um, in the future, I may think about replacing the fans to make it a little bit more quiet. Anywho, moving on. Uh, I have a disk array here, and it's all set up. Unfortunately, you know, I was like, oh, I want a disk array so badly, or whatever, you know, set up a SAN. So I just chose, like, the shittiest one from work. Um, I got a good deal with it, though, 50 bucks. Uh, got uh, 14 500 gig hard drives in there, and yeah, pretty decent performance. Not, a, not ideal, but good enough. I can get about 300 megabytes per second uh, from my server. And that goes through fiber channel. Unfortunately, the array is only designed for 2 gigabit, so 300 is really, really pushing it, even with uh, using both controllers on the back. Uh, let me show you guys. Uh, so you guys can see what I mean. So I got the fiber channel cables here, uh, LC to LC, using SFPs. I got them in 4 gigabit SFPs, because where the hell am I going to get 2 gigabit SFPs? So, um, and then I've got two controllers on the back there. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm camera retarded. There you are. So, just plugged into the array there. And I have MPIO, which is multipathing IO, set up with the Windows server. So I can actually get slightly more than 2 gigabits of speed. But, uh, yeah. Ugh, I know, these things are not designed to be used for what I'm using them for. Um, if you guys are thinking about doing your own home data center set, set up or SAN array or whatever, I highly suggest that you guys go with EMC. NetApp is complete crap. Um, the older EMC ones, they at least got 4 gigabits uh, SFPs and you can upgrade their modules and processors and they're just a hell of a lot better. Um, just also be aware that if you're going with fiber channel hard drives, it may be a lot more work to get in them to work. Uh, I've got SATA hard drives in here so it's just plug and play pretty much. Anywho, moving on, I've also got the network. This is a big portion of it. So as you can see, I have four one gigabit cables going out the back of the server and a shitty router there. And just following along here, going into the switch. Now I've got these set up for Nick teaming and really and truly the hardest part about the setup was getting the drivers I've got an old Intel um, VT Pro Quad Gigabit Ethernet card in both my server and PC. Um, the server one took about half an hour to find the drivers for, and on my PC I had to search for hours and uh, actually ended up having to sort of hack the setups or the drivers so that it will work on Windows 8. Anywho, um, sort of sidetrack here. I've got a shitty router here, one, whatever one comes with Shaw, you know, yeah, sort of a limitation. But fortunately what happens is uh, when I send large amounts of data, it sends the first little bit to the router and then the rest just goes straight from the switch to wherever its destination. So I essentially get the full 4 gigabits. So there's no point in me having four connections. I don't even think it would work that way to have four connections between my router and the switch. I don't think you can uh, do teaming or bonding or uh, link aggregation or whatever you want to call it. So moving on, let's continue the tour. And uh, top ports, those are set for the server. Bottom ones are the PC. And just follow the cables down here. Uh, I didn't bother with making them all neat and tidy because I still have to finish creating my um, my server wrap. It's a little naked. So yeah I should have that done by next month. I mean I've been really busy with all this car accident crap and then also in the middle of buying a house or whatever. So anywho let's follow the cables and we come to my PC here where I've got the quad port card in. Sort of hard to see with that HDMI cable there and uh, yeah a uh, little notes if I wanted to I could actually plug in this little uh, Ethernet port here and get five gigabits but 
why the hell do I need more than four or so? And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And the cables cost me about 80 bucks in total, and I've got tons of cabling left here. Let me show you guys, I got tons of the internet cable. I got this box, 1,000 feet, for about 60 bucks or 70 bucks off eBay. Although it's really cheap, like, here, look up the box. Um, you know, Cat 6, made in China. This is the thing that really threw me off, because they did not fucking show this in the ad at all. What the hell was it? Uh, here we are. 100 megabits. Boo. It's a shit cable. And if you look inside the cables, it's got a connector here. Um, it's really shitty quality. But, short links like this, it's fine. I get the full 4 gigabits. Um, individually, each cable is getting roughly around 8 or 900 megabits per second. Which is pretty darn good, because you read a lot on the forums and, say, and they say shit about how you're like, Oh, you're not even going to get close to uh, gigabits when you uh, make your own cables, so... Pretty good. You know, it's like 50 megabits off of as if I were to buy these from like the store or something, so... Who cares? And here's what I mean by really shitty. These are really flimsy uh, dividers for the cables, and I don't know how, if you guys can see how freaking cheap that is. And the cabling itself, here I got the wire, some wire, loose wire here. It's so freaking brittle and fuck. Real pain in the ass to work with. But I've got it all set up, everything's good, and yeah. Come check out my blog at hotnoob.com, and I'll see you guys later.